at this point, we're all familiar with the idea of tuning into something, whether it's a show or a thread of ideas or even someone's vibe or their state of being. That these are all ways that we can tune in to vibrations. And of course, we all may have our own distinct uh, feelings or identity around the idea of vibrations or vibes. And this is something that we all uh, are made of in, from a scientific level, that everything is light, everything is the electromagnetic uh, radiation and vibrating strings of energy that is more or less this undifferentiated field of light. And so as we tune into the essence of vibration that you know, even, even the colors, the visible colors of the rainbow are all different vibrations. So all of our, even on our very surface level of the light bouncing off of us is just surface level vibrations. So this kind of gives us an opportunity to be aware of the vibrations that we brought into our lives or the vibrations that we uh, emit towards others that even if we you know, don't think we're emitting a vibration or something like that. You're always, you always have an effect on the field of others around you, whether your effect is large or small or whether it's intended or unintended. Um, we are very much more interconnected than we realize in a lot of ways. And so as we experience these different vibrations uh, within us, we can then resonate with that outside of us. And there's this idea that intimacy essentially is whatever is resonant within us when we experience that outside of ourselves, that's when we experience intimacy. And in order to step into that flow of resonant harmony, we can't expect it to necessarily just show up for us, but we can ask for it to come and we can have it be something that's not something that we're, uh, you know, sweating and toiling over necessarily. At the same time, that might be something that someone needs to do in order to learn a lesson. So you wouldn't want to, uh, you know, take that away from them, even if there are easier ways. Uh, so this is a really fascinating idea that, you know, there's different strokes for different folks that uh, some people need an ordeal in order to learn a lesson. And other people, um, you know, have different, everybody has different ways of learning and, and we all have different lessons to learn. So the best thing we can do is learn our lessons uh, and learn from others' lessons as well so that we don't have to repeat our own lessons or anybody else's lessons. Now, at the same time, it's like the classic thing of, you know, a parent or even a grandparent saying to their kid of, or their grandkid of, uh, you know, don't make the same mistakes I made. These are my mistakes and, and you can make different ones now. And, and so there's this uh, process of collective learning, but it all kind of uh, originates in many ways at this vibrational level of what are the vibrations that we are allowing into our field. And, you know, that all kind of connects to um, having healthy boundaries and connecting to ourselves and knowing uh, who we are and being able to differentiate that from the world around us. So you know, in the sense of everything is energy, everything is vibration, we are still a unique signature, a unique energetic signature of what you might call a sea of energy. And as we're swimming around in the sea of energy, it doesn't really feel that way. A lot of the time it feels like we're interacting with matter or we're interacting with uh, computers or technology in other ways, or we're driving. There's this experience of being in a in the world. And, and so as we uh, tap into that layer of vibration, we become more sensitive in a way that uh, kind of just helps us hone our subtle senses, so to speak. It lets us tap into these uh, domains of human experience or these layers of our awareness that are already there. It's just a matter of us, or they're already here within us. So it's just about revealing that. Um, yeah, so... Uh, vibrations are essential to our life, and this is why we focus on them. And they give us uh, an opportunity to see the world in a different light. And it gives us a way to tune into others 
um, whether that's through uh, people that we look up to, such as um, yeah, any any kind of mentor, whether it's a spiritual or a, a business or someone who's really good at the thing you like to do. Uh, there's all of these ways that we can tap into other people's vibrations so that they improve our own and at the same time being very aware that with social media and everything else that there's practically infinite vibrations out there to tune into so just being aware of that as you are exploring the universe of vibrations all right thank you have a beautiful day